Hi everyone, welcome back to our video. Today I am going to be showing you how to save and export your structures in Minecraft using the structure blocks. So if you've ever built something really cool and you want to show off to your friends and you want to move it between worlds so you know you can have it with you as you go around. Um, you, know, you can't normally do that but now with the structure blocks you can. And they had it in the Java edition but it just came out in the Bedrock edition. And it's still in beta so you you will have to have experimental gameplay on and let's go into the settings here I'll show you so if you scroll down here you'll see experimental gameplay make sure that is on if it's not what you want to do is actually go into your game settings in the menu and turn it on here you'll find it down here right above cheats and below respawn radius so now um, let's get straight to it I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this what you want to do is to first go into chat and type in give and then space at s the at sign and you want to type in structure block this is what you'll be using and once you have it it'll show up in your, in your hotbar and you can just select it place it down wherever actually no don't place it down wherever you need to have it close to the structure that you're actually going to be exporting so right now I have this cool tree that I just built real quick has one bed in it and um we're gonna export it. That's what we're gonna do. Now once you place it down you'll see it has this outline. That's actually going to show you what's actually gonna be uh, saved and you wanna if you wanna move it around you don't want anything to be cut off. So you'll have to go in here and mess with the settings a bit so you can change the size of the actual area. So let's try 10. Ah that's perfect. And well, you get what I mean. So just configure, mess around with this, and just try to get everything in the um, in the bounds. Well, once you got everything in, nothing is being cut off. Here, let me show you. Once you got everything like this, your structure is all in there. What you want to do is to go up here to mode and click on it, on this here, and it'll give you a load of options. And you'll see save, load, 3D export. What you want to do is click on save because that's what we're going to be doing today and just give your structure a name, I'm gonna call this tree cool it's a very cool tree in my opinion so after you have that, what you want to do is not click save because that only saves it to your world you want to save, you want to click on export and you'll be able to, you'll be taking the screen and you just type in the name of your file and it's gonna be saved as a structure file, a mixed structure and you want to put it anywhere where you can find it easily, I'm just gonna put it in my desktop you but you can have it in documents, downloads, anywhere. But for me, desktop will be. So now that you have your structure here, you can drag it and mess around with it. And you can go into properties, just check. It's a mixed structure file that's good. You can actually open it up. It's a um, weird little file. I just use WordPad. Yeah, it, it opens up weird, but don't worry about it. We're not going to be able to mess with anything in here yet. What we have to do is to actually make a new folder for it and we'll have to call it structures and then we want to make a new folder for that folder and this one is actually going to be the name of your pack so I'm just gonna call it pack and now put your structure in there put your structures in there so you'll have it here the next part is going to actually be something we do for all add-ons I'm gonna show you how to do it right now at this point what we will want to do is make a text document and you want to name it manifest and now what you want to do is to head into it and click on save as and you want to save it as a um, a JSON file so let's just just do what I'm doing here and just save it like that and there we go we have a JSON file so just move the other one to the recycle bin we don't need it anymore next unless you're crazy um, we'll actually want to copy code and paste it into here instead of writing out our own um, so we just open that up real quick and I'll actually have the code in the description so you guys can just copy it straight in here let me just do that real quick alright and now we have everything we have we need in here 
and um, here I'll just go through this real quick description what is your pack about and name what's the name of your pack and I just have these two here and the UUID what you'll actually want to do is go online and type in UUID generator and you just want to generate two so we have one here copy that and replace this first one next one we'll actually have to refresh the page copy that and do the same for the one down here you gotta make sure um, because this is what's the actual identifier for your pack if you know what I mean so now you've actually got everything you need in here and unless you're feeling extra special then what you can do is copy a pack icon in there but I'm not gonna do that right now because I just want to um, put in structures in my world so let's get on to that alright so we have our pack here what we'll want to do is to right click on it and go down to add to archive and just give it a name I'm just calling this pack and then click on zip and now you have to click on, you have to make it a mic pack so we'll have it like this there we go and now all you have to do is just click on it and it'll load it into your minecraft see come on perfect I'm gonna exit out of that world there let's create a new world yes and make sure experimental gameplay is on this is very important go down here and actually add it in and uh, let's see all right Ooh, this is a nice seed yeah, but anyways, let's get our structure block here. Put that real quick. Just find a nice spot. Hopefully these guys don't mind. Just gonna put this right up here. Load. And then the name of the thing that we got. Tree cool. Cool tree. Load it in. And there we go. Beautiful, we have a floating tree. And um, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be posting another video next week. As always, thank you for watching.